So the final piece of our toolchain is uh, a library uh, for um, assertion uh, enabled exceptions. Uh, and this is part of the boost C++ libraries. So this is a set of very high quality uh, peer reviewed libraries uh, for C++. Many of those libraries actually end up eventually in the C++ standard library. So, um, and uh, um, before we can do that, or one of the easiest ways to do this on macOS is actually to use a package manager, an open source package manager called macports. So let's do macports first. Uh, URL is macports.org. And uh, so uh, we just go ahead and install the latest release here with the uh, installation. So we have Xcode and the um, um, uh, Xcode command line tools. So everything is uh, uh, right there. And uh, so we can just go ahead and install the macOS package installer. And uh, right now, since we are on uh, Catalina, which is the latest version of macOS, uh, we can just download the um, installer and then just run it. So, um, install this thing. It's a fairly small package because it's a uh, actually installs packages on the fly, of course. So that should be fairly straightforward. Okay, so package is installed. And uh, now all we have to do is open up a terminal and uh, let's uh, um, run a soft update real quick because that's something that you should do on a regular basis anyway. So let's do here sudo port self update So it looks like everything has been up to date. And it um, uh, looks like everything is uh, fine. We can just do a uh, sudo port upgrade to make sure that uh, uh, this works uh, as well. It looks like there's uh, actually no installed uh, ports right now. So uh, that's fine. And let's go ahead and just install boost. So that should just be sudo port install boost. So here are a couple of dependencies that are being pulled in. And uh, these are going to be automatically fetched. This is a nice uh, feature, of course, of package managers. The majority of these um, ports, uh, which are open source packages, port its own to macOS from uh, Linux and Unix in general, um, are actually um, uh, binary, so it should not take all that long to get boost up and running.
Okay, so uh, boost is installed, and uh, that's that part of the toolchain, and we are ready to give this a test drive.